Hello, this is Curtis Brown from TI. Welcome to the TI SmartView CE for the TI-84 Plus Family introduction video. Let's get started. First, I'll press the clear key to get rid of the message on the home screen here. And then I want to check out View Cubed. View Cubed is an option that shows students three representations of an equation or a function or relation all at one time. You'll see when I click the View Cubed option and the icon up here in the right upper left hand corner up here, uh, I'll see three windows pop up on the right hand side of my screen, the equation, graph, and table. Each of those could be adapted and shown to a different representation, table list, stat plot, or window. Any of those things could also be selected, but for now these will work for me. And then I'm going to press the Y equals key. Y equals is where I'm going to enter in a function or a relation. In this case, I'm in function mode, so I'm going to type in uh, a function. How about X squared plus 3? Now, when I hit enter, X squared plus 3 is stored into Y1. And then I can go over here to my view cubed option and hit the refresh button, and it will show me all three representations, equation, graph, and table for my function y equals x squared plus 3. Okay, so next let's check out the key press history. I'm going to close the view cubed uh, icon here, and I want to open up um, the key press history because I sometimes want my students to be able to follow a specific series of key presses, or I might want to. Um, have students who are following along and be able to catch up um, in the past or maybe I'm making some notes for a class or something like that. So when I press the key press history, it's the one little icon up here with the clock and the number five, um, I can now um, type in, let's type in another function into um, y2. So maybe I'll do x squared minus 6x um, plus 9 or something fun like that. And then I can hit enter and you'll see the key presses as I'm going along, you'll see them show up here in the bottom of this key press history. Um, these are icons that can be selected and dragged and dropped into another document. Um, they can also be copied as one whole entire picture uh, and pasted into a document. Um, and if I mess something up or if I want to clear back uh, the history or start over from scratch, I can always hit the clear key to clear out my key press history. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is how to take a screenshot and embed it into a Word document or a PowerPoint file or something that way. So I'm going to close the key press history. And you'll notice when my mouse shows over this, um, the big screen of the, of the emulator, you can actually click and drag that into a Word document. So I'm going to do that here. And it'll paste directly in just like a regular screenshot. Now you'll notice that it doesn't have a frame. So if you want it to have frames, what you can do is whenever you click on uh, the camera icon in that toolbar up there, you click on the camera icon and it will take a screen capture. Now this screen capture has a frame around it. You can um, copy and paste it, or if you select this one, um, you can actually do the dra grab and drag uh, from here, and it'll paste a full-size screenshot depending on how you have the screen zoomed. Thanks for watching. Go check out our YouTube channel. Uh, search Texas Instruments Education.